We start things off with a Nick 10 matchup that never disappoints no matter what year it is. When Harlem and Hananiga play each other, it's generally a close game with lots of big plays. Well, these should be two of the top teams in the conference this season. So let's head to Kelsey Field and Rockton for the Gillies heating and air conditioning game of the week. Yeah, everybody was amped up for the start of this one. Now, the Hananiga punting early on from near its own end zone, but Gage Cole didn't have time to get it off. Joe Holloway brings him down at the three-yard line. Hananiga's defense forced Harlem backwards, though, so it was fourth and goal Harlem from the 22. Derek Anderson put some air under this pass, and Drake Ferguson came down with it for the touchdown. Harlem led 7-0. The rest of the game, though, belonged to the Indians. Eston Fichter pops a big play here up the middle to the Harlem 37. Later, that drive on fourth down from the 17, another Hananiga back pops free. It's Luke Poppy for the touchdown tying the game. Early in the second quarter, Warren is looking for that man, Isaiah Huey. A look at the move there, a little hesitation, and then the stiff arm and Huey dives in for a 30-yard touchdown. Hananiga led 14-7, Coach Zim with a TD call. Still in the second quarter, Warren looks for another receiver. It's Cole Schmoll. Beautiful throw, great catch, 21-7. Now, just before halftime, it's as Victor powering in from a yard out. Hanna Niga led 28-7 at the half. Harlem just could not generate any offense. The pass out to Jamani Muhammad and the Indians' defense warmed him. He didn't get a whole lot of yardage tonight. Harlem's best offensive play, a fake punt. Chandler Jack to Tim Wessels. Pretty nice play there by that combo, but nothing came of it because Hananiga's defense was nails. Big Mike Florians gets to Anderson for the sack. What an impressive performance by the Indians. They knock off the Huskies 35-7 to improve to 2-0. Well, we are joined now by our Nick 10 analyst and performance manager at Mercy Health Top Performers, Tim Bailey. Tim, we learned a lot tonight about these two football teams. Just how surprised are you, though, that it was so one-sided tonight? Well, you know, I mean, all, going into the season with all the hype of how Harlem was going to be this year and how Hananiga was going to be, obviously Hananiga is, is the real deal. Um, you know, as you know, far as what Harlem didn't do tonight, um, you know, I'm pretty sure they're disappointed in, in the outcome. Um, but, you know, overall, I mean, it was a great game. I'm not really surprised that Hananiga played this well. I mean, it was a home game. They had the home crowd behind them. Um, and what they did offensively was a really great display on how really well they are offensively this year. All right, we always say big games are won in the trenches, right? We heard so much about Harlem's quickness on defense, and it's true, but what did you see on the lines tonight? Well, you know, again, the game was running, won in the trenches tonight. I mean, you know, what they did at the line of scrimmage, both offensively and defensively, really showed tonight for Hananiga. Um, the way they pushed, you know, where they pushed uh, Harlem around, their offensive line around, really getting great pressure on the quarterback for Harlem. Um, you know, what they did defense, uh, excuse me, what they did offensively, just really giving Warren really great protection, giving the backs gaping holes to run through. Um, you know, you got to give Hananiga's offense and defense a line a, a grade tonight. Now, in two games, Harlem's offense has scored only two touchdowns, and they just could not get Jamani Muhammad going again tonight. So, you know, what would you do to try to help Muhammad out if you were coaching Harlem? And what do they, what can they do offensively to jumpstart that offense? Well, a guy like Jamani is so dynamic when he gets in the open field and he creates, he's be able to actually play in space. He's that guy that when you get him in space, everybody in the stands stands up. Um, and he didn't really get in space too well tonight because they ran him a lot out of the backfield. But if you saw here in the second half, they actually spread him out. He was more so in the passing game where they could really spread him out, throw some screens to him like they did here. He could make one guy miss and then make another guy miss and pick up some positive yards. So that's what they really need to do going forward to really figure out how to get this young man in space. He is a playmaker. Now, Hananiga's defense has only given up two scores through two games. Both were set up by breakdowns in their punt team. This might be a bold statement, but is that Hananiga's only weakness right now? You know, I, I, I think... You know, I would have to agree with you. I think that's one of their biggest weaknesses is special teams and what I saw tonight. Offensively, I'll give Hananiga an A grade tonight. Defensively, I'll give him an A grade too. But I would say special teams is, is, is an area where they actually, the good coach is going to go back and look at film and they're going to say, we need to improve here, fellas. And I think they're going to answer to the call. What else impressed you about Hananiga tonight? And can Harlem shake off this loss? 
You know what really impressed me about Hanenega tonight, and, and you know, I, you got to give this young man credit, Cole Warren. Um, stepped up big time, over 200 yards passing, three TDs in the air. I think he may have had one on the ground. I mean, he's my top performer of the night. I like I mean, the fact, gotta, too, that he doesn't try to do too much. He doesn't. He yeah. doesn't. He's a facilitator. He's the mm -hmm. quarterback. He was a Fred Van Vliet tonight of the Houston Rockets. Yeah. Mm, there Good you go. Point. Good point. All right. <laughs> and and, and as, it, as it relates to Harlem, um, you know, Harlem, don't capitulate. Um, they're not going to capitulate. I think they're going to continue to fight. Um, it's only the second week. In, in the week two, there's a lot of football left. Um, they just don't want to be playing like this come October. Yeah, don't, don't throw in the towel, Harlem. Nope. There's a long way nope. to go. Yeah. Nope.